here outside of Cook City. We're up near the wilderness boundary and the snowpack is deep, stable, and strong. And what that looks like is as you dig down, it's hard the whole way. You don't feel many layers. It's a little softer up here and then as you go down, the snowpack gets harder and harder. It's almost boot hard down there. On top of that, when we do our stability test, nothing breaks. And this probe right here is 10 feet tall. So you can say we have a 10 foot deep snowpack here. And this is not a wind loaded spot. A deep snowpack is a strong snowpack. It's a different story closer to town near Cook City where we have had some avalanches. The snowpack was a lot thinner. It got weaker and faceted. With snow from last week, we had some avalanches. But up here, it's deep, strong, and stable. And we're at about uh, 9,800 feet. So you get up high, find where the snowpack is deep, and you're good. This is the site of an avalanche, I think from last weekend. And we're kind of near Round Lake and Companion Lake. What's interesting is we're about a similar elevation as we were up near the wilderness boundary. But the reason there's an avalanche here is that this is a south facing slope. It had a thin snowpack, and it's also rocky and, and it rolls over, it's convex. So it's steep and rocky, had this thin snowpack. Before last week's storm, it was less than three feet deep. And just walking up to this spot, we could feel the fastest down low because we were breaking through this slab. As soon as we dug into the crown, we could see the stripe in the snow of facets. And then you can see there was this much snow added to it. It was a lot of weight. So these are the spots where you could get avalanches. And now it's been some time since this load was applied, triggering an avalanche on these slopes. It isn't likely, but it remains possible. So it takes a real careful eye we know the snowpack is thin down low, but up high, you gotta have a real careful eye and be thinking about where you think these thin slopes might be. Rocks are a good clue, south aspects are a good clue as well. We're right next to an avalanche that was triggered on Monday by riders coming in. They actually triggered it from the flats. We call that a remote trigger. It's a big heads up. Um, what that means is they collapsed the weak layer down the flats, the fracture went uphill, avalanche came down, luckily no one was caught. The common denominator here, South facing slope. We're just above Cook City. This area has had a thin snowpack all year long that got really weak. Last week it got a big load of snow on it and that's why we we're able to get an avalanche here. <laughs>